what's up? It's Ethos Gaming here, and now we're going to look at the different paragons in Diablo Immortal Beta right now. So please note that this is the beta version, and there might be changes when it really just officially, alright? So, now, I have been playing as a demon hunter in Diablo Immortal Beta. So this is the paragon that I'm primarily using, so it is a vanquisher. Now each Paragon has active skills and passive skills. So the active skills only activate when you have the Paragon activated. And the passive skills are forever there. So even if you are on a different Paragon, you're still going to get the passive skills or passive skill nodes such as damage, armor and so on. Now I mostly do PvE, so I have focused on Vanquisher Paragon, right? So the next Paragon is Survivor, right? So this Paragon can be really useful if you're building a tank build because this has active spells which can really ease your process of tanking creeps. Now, the Treasure Hunter Paragon is really good if you're leveling and you're falling behind in levels. So, there are many active spells um, in this Paragon, which can increase your EXP gain from monsters and then increases your loot from monsters outside. So, it is a really good spell if you want to, you know, just farm up levels or you want to farm up gold and stuff. So Gladiator is another one of these Paragons, right, where you can gain like CC immunity or um, certain slow effects uh, are reduced. So this is also really good for PvP. Now you know that the passive skills are carried out through all the Paragons, no matter which one is active. So I guess this is a good one for PvP. And in Diablo Immortal Vita, like I could only reach to 140 something level, right? So I don't have access to the rest of the Paragons, but this is how much I have. Now, one thing you might have also noticed is that um, there is a box on the top right which says inactive, right? So you can select which Paragon you want to activate by pressing on there. So as you can see, the Vanquisher Paragon is right now activated. Now, if I want to activate another Paragon, I just go to Treasure Hunter and then just click on the top right hand and as you can see now it's active. Now let me do that for the Gladiator one as well. It looks really cool, huh? Now to have the Paragon activated, you need to first reach level 55 and every level after that is a Paragon level. So that's pretty much it for the video guys, if you like the video please like, subscribe to the channel that would help a lot, I'm off for now, bye bye and have a nice.